Hi everyone, my name is Will. Thank you for tuning into my channel today. Today we are going to be doing a collective energy reading for May 5th, 2023. So let's see what the energies are today, May 5th, 2023. And happy Cinco de Mayo to everybody. I hope everyone is having a great day. I hope you're able to spend it with family and celebrate. Uh, and also, uh, I'm sorry I've been gone for so long. I there I, I'm experiencing a lot of transformations right now in my life, and I've been like I feel like trying to beat the clock. So it's like every time I look up, I'm like, oh shoot, I need to be here at this time. Oh, I need to go there. I need to do this. I need to do that, and. For whatever reason, the like I have just not been in a very um, open space in order to do these tarot readings. So I'm feeling a lot better today, and so I la I'm hoping that I can really get back on track with these readings. Uh, but thank you guys so much for staying, for staying subscribed and for watching these video, videos. I really appreciate it. Um, so let's get on to let's get on to the reading. So today uh, we also have some eclipse energy, some lunar eclipse energy going on as well. So uh, today is also full moon. So. Uh, at least here in Oklahoma. Uh, so yesterday, today, and tomorrow, uh, we'll be experiencing a lot of um, full moon type energies and behaviors from different people. So like if you work in the customer service industry, be prepared. Today, people are going to be a little off. Um, and if they weren't yesterday, they will be today, and they could be tomorrow as well, because we have that three-day period every time there's a full moon of the day before a full moon, the full moon, and the day after, that those energies are very high. So just be prepared uh, for, for people to be acting a little off, a little strange, um, maybe super anxious, and other times it's like, come on, like work with me, like pay attention. <laughs> oh man. Uh, so if you have any black tectite, I would definitely be wearing black tectite. Um, it is going to help transmute that negative energy and help to improve your mood and the mood of those around you as well because it also absorbs negative energy from other people as well. So, you know, for anyone that you're close to. And the thing I like about the black uh, tectite is that you don't have to charge it in the sun. You just have to rinse it with some spring water every so often but it's generally a self-cleaning stone but it helps transmute that negative energy for you so as always i do not accept any archon reptilian demonic or negative attachments i only accept light and love in this space and i would like to ask archangel michael's white light of protection over this tarot reading today and i'd like to ask spirit what are the energies for today what are the energies for today? March 5th, 2023. What are the energies we need to know about today? What are the energies we need to know about today? I feel like I've been shuffling these a lot. And then they all fly everywhere. All right. So, I believe this one fell out first. Sorry. Um... So we have the two of pentacles. So there's a lot of indecision right now in your life. You are experiencing a lot of not knowing what choice to make, maybe what path to go down. Um, I feel like you're very much uh, 
I feel like you're very much indecisive right now. Um, and then we also have the Empress card. So I feel like you need to step step into this energy. You need to step into this energy. You need to move from this energy into this energy. So being more confident, being more uh, nurturing to yourself. Um, I feel like I feel like right now you may be putting people ahead of you. That could also be the indecision right now because you may be putting too much on your plate. You're not knowing what you need to do next in your life. Um, I really feel like you need some self-care and uh, self-nurturing. So that is the Empress energy. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands card. So I feel like I feel like you need to take action. You need to take some action right now because this being in this indecisive energy right now and needing to nurture, yourself your inner child um you know really channeling that empress energy um i think it's going to require you to take some to take some action take some movement uh in your life um so i'm i'm uh I'm reminded of the of the old saying, um, the very definition of insane is when you keep doing the same thing expecting a different result. So uh, if you are if you are going back and forth on this right now, on this decision, on you know, should I, shouldn't I, and you're afraid to step out of that, then nothing's going to change. Nothing's going to change. Um, you're going to have to take action in order to 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 influence uh, change in your life. Um, and now is honestly a really good time because we have all of these lunar energies coming in today uh, with the full moon, and it's full moon in Scorpio. So it's that's very much transformation energy. That's very transformational. That is, you know, hold on, we're going to take this uh, as, you know, as far as it can go type energy. Um, and then we have the Ace of Swords in reverse. So I feel like right now you're 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 out of ideas. <laughs> you're out of ideas. You're out of new ideas. You are. Um, I also feel like it's also communicating the fact that you can't that you can't think your way out of this. Okay, you just need to do you've spent enough time contemplating trying to decide trying to figure out weighing the pros and the cons okay you're not having anything new coming in okay any new thoughts any new ideas coming in because you just need to take action action you've you've passed you've passed the point of deciding what you're going to do next and how you're going to do it and now you just need to take action you just need to take action all right um are there any other cards we need to know about today spirit any other cards anything else we need to know today what else do we need to know today spirit on may 5th 2023 Sorry, I'm 
still having problems with my hands. Hopefully I can get some answers to that pretty soon because I, my sleep, my sleep is really suffering. All right, so we have the full new beginning. So you just need to take action and start moving in a new direction. Just create a new beginning for yourself, okay? Take that action. Trying to figure out this old situation um, and deciding what to do is, is causing is causing block energy blockages that's that's what i'm getting um and again now's the best time to do this because we have this lunar eclipse energy this full moon energy um going uh so we need to make sure that we are harnessing that and using it to our benefit we have the three of cups in the upright so so I feel like I feel like I feel like you may be meeting someone new I feel like they're waiting for you too if you notice they're all like a normal three of cups in the Rider weight deck, they're 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 very much um, all three all three women are very much uh, you know like busy you know celebrating you know by themselves um, and you are watching them celebrate together. This card is different in that they're staring straight at you. Okay. So I feel like this union energy, uh, this person is waiting for you. This person is waiting on you, waiting for you. Um, and this is connected to the new beginning that you're going to, that you need to take. Yeah, this person's waiting on you. This might have to be with a soul contract. This may be someone you not you, you, you don't even know yet. They don't know you. But the energy I'm getting is they're waiting on you. They're waiting on you. On a soul level, they're waiting on you. So you need to move out of that indec indecisive energy and take some action and sh make a new beginning for yourself. All right, are there any other... Are there any other cards that we need to know about today? Any other energies? think okay one I think I think this deck is like okay you've 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 asked enough I've <laughs> I've given you I've given you a bunch of cards just go with it but it did leave one card which is hierophant hierophant so I feel like there is some spiritual growth that will be happening from from this from taking this action from moving in this new direction um, from this union okay but just remember to also take some time to nurture yourself you know be the empress use that empress energy um, because it is very easy to get into a pattern get distracted by 
doing things for other people that we forget to take care of ourselves and that is very dangerous that's not good um and it's ultimately self-destructive um because we need that time we need that time to to be with ourselves to be with our thoughts to to do something for ourselves to re-energize our battery to recharge our battery all right so let's pull an energy oracle card we might pull one more and i can't decide i think it's going to depend on on this uh card but i can't decide which of these um other decks I want to use, I think it's going to mostly depend on the Energy Oracle card. My intuition's telling me one at a time. One at a time. woman holding a heart leaped right out so i feel like i feel like this union is really going to help you get in touch with yourself as well but you need to take that time to nurture yourself so you're in that good energy so you're in that good space to be able to accept this union energy okay um because if we're not in a good space when we're accepting, when we're open to new energy, um, to to new people in our life, it's not going to end well. We have to be in a good energy, okay? So to do that, you're going to have to um, love yourself a little bit. You're going to have to take some time for yourself. Um, do something that you like to do. Uh, tell, tell people no. Um, not... Sorry, just one second. Not not make plans out of out of um, obligation. Feeling like there's this like 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 out of a sense of obligation. Um, you need to make plans for you. You need to make space for yourself. And let's also check out the guidebook, but that's just what I got from that card. 44. Okay. And this is something else, too, I've been noticing. I've been noticing a lot of 11s, a lot of 44s, 111, 1111, uh, 1144s, 1144s. I've been noticing a lot of 1s and 4s lately, and I want to know, have you guys uh, been noticing certain... Uh, number patterns just like every time you look at the clock every time you look at your phone every time you you know uh go to pay for something it ends up being that number and you're just like wow um i've just been noticing that a lot so let me know if you've if you've been noticing any certain number patterns lately all right so this woman on the card wears a butterfly in her hair and holds a lovely large heart in her hands. Um, this card could be a reflection of your own state of peaceful emotion and recept receptivity for love, and it might be a message that your family issues are going to resolve. You're an intuitive person who understands the emotions of life, and you're bringing that awareness to all that you do. This it could also indicate the presence of a female friend, teacher, or confidant who's here to help you with issues of love, family, or emotion. This is an even-tempered and caring person who resonates with you and your emotions. It could also pertain to a new love interest or friend coming your way. So this comes back to that union, that union. There's a union going to um, happen. It's part of your new beginning. Um... Yeah, that's what I'm getting from that. You know what? We're going to pull Lightworker. 
We're gonna pull a light worker. We're gonna pull the light worker card. get a light worker? Well, when you ask <laughs> White Eagle, Ancestor Spirit, connect to your lineage. A uh, family wound or pattern can be healed now. So, again, this is a great time uh, with this eclipse energy, with this full moon energy to really use those energies for your benefit, okay? for your growth um, to heal. And I really feel like there might be some healing, especially, I, I, especially with this card popping up. There's some healing that needs to be done regarding uh, whatever you're indecisive about right now in your life, whatever you're trying to whatever path you're trying to choose moving forward, you just need to do, you just need to take action. There needs to be some healing around that. Um, indecisiveness. I feel like that indecisiveness is, uh, I feel like that indecisiveness is a uh, family wound, a trauma. And you just need to do. You need to do. Maybe, maybe this has to do with a past life. Um, it could, it could be this life too. Um, but, an indecisive energy is probably one of the worst things because you're just kind of going in a circle, and you're not moving. You're just staying stagnant because you're trying to figure something out but you're not actually making a decision so it's not counting as taking action when you're making a decision you have to actually make the decision um, and go with it and take action towards it towards that decision that you make um, and this is coming from a Libra Libras are very much about balance so we try to balance all of the decisions that we make and part of the balancing is taking time to make the decision itself um, but sometimes we can get stuck in a in a uh, in a pattern <laughs> a decisive pattern where we're like should I shouldn't I should I shouldn't I well maybe if I just ignore it it'll go away you know then I won't have to decide um, this is this is one of the reasons why I think I like Moldavite a lot. Um, I like working with Moldavite because Moldavite doesn't have time for that BS. It will remove whatever it is supposed to not be in your life, take it right out of your life, uh, and will move in whatever is supposed to be in your life. Like it will do it, but even then, you still have to make decisions. But um, if you are having problems making some decisions and you kind of know, like, I really need to cut this person off, this toxic person off, they're, it's not good for me, it's not good for my energy, um, maybe working with some Moldavite. And if that person, you know, leaves your life after you've got the Moldavite, then that kind of helps you. Um, because you already sensed it you were just afraid to pull the trigger to actually go you know what i'm not going to talk to this person anymore i'm not i'm going to stop responding to their emails i'm going to stop responding to their texts you know i'm not going to see them as often because they're just they're just super negative and i don't need that in my life you know um but i you know i don't want to say you know to their face i can't stand you <laughs> <laughs> you shouldn't say that. But, uh, you know, like, 
it's one of those things that maybe maybe a transformational crystal like Moldavite could help you in that because it will help build your intuition and confidence in your intuition because you already knew you need to cut that person out of your life but then after getting Moldavite that person's out of somehow you know is out of your life you're like I knew that person needed to be out of my life it was they, they were draining my energy so don't use Moldavite as a as a crutch but it can be a helpful tool, especially if you're a very indecisive person or sign. Moldavite can definitely help you uh, make decisions that will transform your life. So there's some there, there's some crystal wisdom for you as well. Um, uh, black tectite and Moldavite. Um, so I hope everyone is having a great day today. Thank you so much for tuning into this uh, reading. I hope that it was clear. I hope that it was helpful. And I hope to see you again very soon. And I, again, I apologize for, for not making a video uh, for such a long time. Uh, I know it's been a long time. I've just been, I've been dealing with some health issues. I've been... Um, very busy with a lot of different things and I feel like I've been trying to beat the clock and I've just not been in the right headspace for these readings um, but I feel much better today much more clear and I definitely want to do a reading today for you guys so happy Cinco de Mayo you guys have a great day much light and love to all of you bye